Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We are currently in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia at Exo Reptiles Malaysia. This happens to be one of my partner's stores. He has several locations here in this country. This happens to be the main location. We are currently on the second floor. This is where all the live animals are. We're going to be concentrating all of our filming up here because I know you guys want to see live animals. On the ground floor, it's a pretty big area. It's all the dry goods and all that. I'm sure you guys are curious what a reptile store, exotic animal store looks like in another country, especially here in Malaysia. Let's go check it out. So the main room is actually the temperate room. It's kind of like medium temperature, lots of inverts, diff different agamids, geckos, that sort of thing. The mammals are in here. And over here we have ball pythons and some colubrids, actually US native colubrids as well. Back here we have the cold room. I'll take you back here. This is where we have the crested geckos, and the amphibians are here, all set up with exoterras, naturalistic vivariums. These are all real plants, by the way, all living, living environment here. Drip systems, nice backgrounds, water basins, the whole bit. Salamanders. and even chinchilla. Here in this area, we have like miscellaneous mammals, rabbits, sugar gliders, although most of them are sleeping in their little hides. More rabbits, meerkat. I asked about taking him out, but I guess he's a little nippy, so we're gonna pass. Guinea pigs. And over here we have some Mongolian gerbils and dagoos. Depending on where you live in the US, it may or may not be exciting. I know in California, we don't get to keep any of these exotic mammals. All right, and we are gonna head into the warm room where you can probably guess it's really warm. <laughs> but anyway, I will take you guys around and show you some of this stuff. But one thing in particular, I wanna give you guys a look at. So this is pretty cool, an albino green iguana. And this dude is super chill. This is an animal that they would bring to their trade shows for people interaction. Hey, bud. <laughs> yeah, this guy's cool. Aha. Aha, is this your place? Is this your spot? <laughs> yes. All right, and I got another cool one for you guys. Okay, and on that theme, we don't do a lot of lizard stuff here, but today I'm gonna give you guys some different stuff. There. This is a big sailfin dragon and super chill and really cool. Those blue eyes are something. So this is Sulawesi. There's, a, there's quite a few different localities of these, different species in fact, but um, that's awesome. So tortoises are pretty popular here in the local market. So we have leopard tortoises, we have sulcatas, 
I believe this is Herman's. And there's some smaller sulcatas. If you notice that today, there's no public in here. And I was gonna tell you guys that they closed the shop just so we could film, but that's actually not the case. Uh, today, the shop happens to be closed. I think it's Wednesday today or Thursday. So it's just a, a regular day that it's closed to the public. So we're just kind of in here just messing around. So it's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff. There's aquatic turtles. There's more uh, small hatchling tortoises over here. There's some red foots. Aldabras. And yeah, just all kinds of stuff. Veiled chameleons. There's some frilled dragons. There's some tegus. Bearded dragons, some different morph bearded dragons. And I'm gonna slide out of here because it's hot. But some other things around here, hedgehogs, sugar gliders that you can see better from the front. They're in their little sleeping hammocks. Over here, right now is actually beetle season, breeding season for the beetles. And there's a lot of stuff going on here with beetles. So there's a lot of breeding going on. A lot of the larvae are like morphing out into the actual beetle form. These are scorpions, hot tentata actually. Those were imported recently. Uh, different millipedes, some native millipedes and non-native millipedes. Isopods, of course. Ah, and there's more tortoises, baby babies, baby Hermans. And some agamids up there. So that is gonna do it here from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia at Exo Reptiles Malaysia. If you are local or if you are in another country and you think you may be passing through and you wanna check it out, go into the description below. I will put a link with all the information and they also have a website as well. So I hope that provides some of you some insight into what this all looks like here. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next one. Take care.